welcome back dear students in this class we are going to look at the session titled third after epiphany this is dated january 25th sunday 10 am i am ill with all the worry too weak to write much nobody has noticed i haven't eaten any breakfast 2 pm had two junior aspirants at midday and rallied a bit perhaps when i am famous and my diary is discovered people will understand the torment of being a 13 by 4 year old undiscovered intellectual 6 pm pandora my lost love 8 pm pandora 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 midnight had a crab paste sandwich and satsuma for the good of my skin in this particular paragraph we he uh, adrian talks about uh, his health and love he seeks for attention and is really distressed by the fact that nobody is really concerned about him his mom and his dad they haven't asked whether he has eaten anything and he misses his beloved pandora at the same time one must also notice the fact that he is very careful in his diet since he has taken extra precaution to uh, eat satsuma satsuma is a citrus fruit orange bolte oru fruit aan so he he has done his research and he understands that that is good for his skin so he some some in somehow he, he wants to uh, look better by getting rid of his acne this session also has one of the most popular quotes from the novel and what is that quote perhaps when i am famous and my diary is discovered people will understand the torment of being a 13 3 by 4 year old undiscovered intellectual now he believes himself to be an intellectual unfortunately nobody knows that he is not famous so maybe when he becomes famous somebody will discover his this diary his thoughts will be read and shared amongst people his teachers his family members and all of them will eventually acknowledge the fact that adrian was indeed an intellectual he really hopes that this day comes next entry goes this way saturday february 7th my mother and father have been shouting at each other non stop for hours it started because of the bacon down the side of the fridge and carried on into how much my father's cost uh, father's car is costing to repair i went up to my room and put my aba records on my father my father had the nerve to crash my door open and ask me to turn the volume down i did when he got downstairs i turned it up again nobody cooked any dinner so i went to the chinese shop, chip shop and bought a carton of chips and a sachet of soy sauce in this entry we get to visualize the kind of fight that his mom and his dad they are having and in uh, as seen in most families a uh, fight begins from one small issue then it goes into a really it takes it takes a really wild turn of events and goes in different directions in in adrian's adrian's mom's and dad's case the fight began over some a piece of bacon a piece of meat which had fallen to the side of the fridge and they were trying maybe they were blaming each other for having done that nobody know nobody really knows how it got there and then it, his mom accuses his dad of uh, wasting money over an old car continuously repairing it this this is a common again a common scene in most homes people will be having uh, vehicles which they have bought way, uh, much earlier maybe when they got a job so it will be they will have some kind of an emotional connection to this vehicle and they will not sell it due to personal uh, interest 
but then that will cost a lot of money to maintain and repair and considering adrian's parents uh, they are also going through a financial uh, problem and maybe they can't afford a new car so the financial situation of the family is another issue that is brought to the uh, f- uh, brought into the readers attention and the kid since nobody cooked dinner again uh, reference to the situation at home he goes out and uh, buys a packet of chips monday march 2nd my mother has just come into my room and said she had something awful to tell me i sat up in bed and put a dead serious expression on my face just in case she had got 6 months to live or she had been caught shoplifting or something she fiddled with the curtains dropped cigarette ash over my concord model and started mumbling on about adult relationships and life being complicated and how she must find herself she said she was fond of me fond and would hate to hurt me and then she said that for some women marriage was like being in prison then she went out marriage is nothing like being in prison women are let out every day to go to the shops and stuff and quite a lot go to work i think my mother is being a bit melodramatic a serious scene happens here and we also get to understand the mother's point of view the the problems that adrian's mom is facing and her inability to communicate her problems to her teenage son she comes into the room and adrian is self obsessed with his own acne and his health and his love he doesn't really care about his mom's problems and when she comes in she finds it difficult to communicate to the fact that she is going to get a job and that which now what is what what is the, how, how is that significant for adrian if she is going to get a job obviously she'll have less time to spend at home which 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 in turn means that she will be uh, she will not be able to give enough time for adrian as well some of the jobs he will have to do himself so that's the line of thought that she wants to communicate and she finds it very difficult and then she fiddles around and then uh she tells him that she has some something really uh serious to uh, tell to adrian and this uh, issue could also mean that maybe she is going to uh, leave her husband adrian's dad we don't really know what has happened in the background but then something serious is uh, is going to be communicated and when she tells that she has some uh, something serious to tell to adrian Adrian sits up all right and then he begins to fake an expression so in his mind he thinks that maybe uh, his mom has got say, only 6 months to live she's dying of some some terminal disease or maybe she has been caught shoplifting or something so these are the thoughts that Adrian uh, engages in his mind and at the same mom, at the same time she he also notices that his his mom uh is dropping cigarette ash over his concord model concord is a kind of plane a very fast plane and a model of that plane is maybe it's, it's his toy so she is dropping a uh, cigarette ash over that like any any teenager any kid uh these kids are you know, like most of us when we were kids we were really uh, protective of our toys we don't uh, like anybody touch, touching them or uh destroying them or um, uh, mishandling them in any way so he is really wary about his mom dropping cigarette ash over his toy his mom drops in really heavy words which again goes over adrian's head she tells about adult relationships again it's a sign of uh the the state of condition between two adults adrian's mom and dad 
and Adrian is not mature enough to understand the gravity of the situation. She also tells about life being complicated. Again, a hint at the strained relationship between her, his mom and his dad. And she also tells she has to find herself. It's a call for liberation. She wants to become independent, maybe get a job and realize her true potential. She has been inside a prison. So when she tells that she is she's in a kind of a prison and she wants out, Adrian again doesn't really understand what prison means and that she's unhappy in her marriage. So for Adrian, prison is a place where people are just locked up and denied uh, movement. So he compares that to a marriage and in marriage, people are let out. So the 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 emotional the emotional reality of a loveless marriage that can really hamper one's happiness, one's potential. It is very difficult for Adrian to realize this. He just thinks about the movement part. So he tells that maybe marriage is not a prison for anybody. People, women are able to go out every every day. They do they do their shopping, and some of them even go for work. So he doesn't understand what his mother is trying to communicate, and he accuses his mother of being too, uh, being a bit melodramatic. Urubadi emotions maatram varde karanj karanj bahalam ekkinna ushriya ananda rijile. അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അമ്മ അങ്ങനെ പറയുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളത് അമ്മയ്ക്ക് അമ്മയുടെ അമ്മ അമ്മയ്ക്ക് വിഷമങ്ങളുണ്ട് കല്യാണ ഈ ഒരു ദാമ്പത്യത്തിൽ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുകളുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ള കാര്യം അവന് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ കഴിയുന്നില്ല കാരണം അവൻ്റെ അമ്മയുടെ ലോകം അവനുമായി ചുറ്റുപറ്റി അവനെ നോക്കി അവനെ പരിപാ പരിപാലിച്ച് കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്ന ഒന്നാന്നുള്ളതാണ് അവൻ്റെ വിശ്വാസം സൺഡേ മാർച്ച് എയ്ത്ത് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ലെൻറ്റ് Lent is a Christian uh, observance. My mother has gone to a woman's workshop on assertiveness training. Men aren't allowed. I asked my father what assertiveness training is. He said, God knows, but whatever it is, it's a bad news for me. We had boil in the bag caught in butter sauce and oven cooked chips for sunday dinner followed by tinned peaches and dream topping my father opened a bottle of white wine and let me have some i don't know how much uh, i don't know much about wine but it seemed a pleasant enough vintage we watched a film on television and then my mother came home and started bossing us around she said the worm has turned and things are going to be different around here and things like that then she went into the kitchen and started making a chart dividing all the housework into three i pointed out to her that i already had a paper to do an old age pensioner to look after and a dog to feed as well as my school work but she didn't listen she put the chart on the wall and said we start tomorrow in this entry we are informed that Adrian's mom is getting outside help. She is going to a workshop, a women's workshop where, where, where women from different background, women from different background, they come together and this this workshop is about assertiveness training. Avanavana venda karyangala urappichu tarappichu parayan vendi sthreegale shaktarakkuna oru workshop aanu. So she is trying to get some confidence and be bold enough to voice her views and opinions so until until now she feels that she was not able to voice out her opinion or her problems maybe stand up to Adrian's dad but now that she has actually uh, gone for this workshop she is getting that confidence and then uh, she intends to make a change in her own life so Adrian doesn't understand what assertiveness training is. So he asks his dad and his dad in a very sarcastic manner tells him that uh, he doesn't know but then whatever it is it is going to be bad news for him obvious for obvious reasons. They have food and then his uh, father offers 
little bit of wine which he enjoys drinking. His mom comes back and then tells that the worm has turned. Now it's this phrase means that when uh, even a worm, a very slight creature like a worm can change its fortunes. Nisaran aayitil le oru krimi volum ാണ് എന്നുള്ള ഒരു മെസ്സേജ് കൊടുക്കുകയാണ് സോ ഷീ ഇസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി പംപ്ഡ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഷീ വോണ്ട്സ് ടു ടേക്ക് അപ്പ് ദ ഫൈറ്റ് വിത്ത് ഹിസ് എഡ്രിയൻസ് ഡാഡ് ഷീ കംസ് ഹോം മേക്സ് എ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ജോബ്സ് ദാറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ഹാവ് ടു ഡു ദ വർക്ക് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി ഷെയർഡ് മിക്ക വീടുകളിലും ജോലികൾ പലപ്പോഴും ഷെയർ ചെയ്യപ്പെടാറുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ ചില വീടുകളിൽ ജോലി അങ്ങനെ ഷെയർ ചെയ്യപ്പെടാറുമില്ല മിക്കവാറും സ്ത്രീകൾ തന്നെയായിരിക്കും എല്ലാ ജോലികളും ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടാവാം ആൻഡ് എഡ്രിൻസ് മോം ഡസൻ വോണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ടു ഗോ ഓൺ ഷി മേക്സ് എ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ടാസ്ക്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഹിസ് സൺ ഹർ സൺ ആൻഡ് ഹർ ഹസ്ബൻഡ് ആർ ടു ഡു ആൻഡ് ഷി പേസ് ഇറ്റ് ഓൺ ദ വോൾ ആൻഡ് ഷി വോണ്ട്സ് ദാറ്റ് ടു ബി ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ടുമോറോ എഡ്രിയൻ ഇസ് നോട്ട് റിയലി ഹാപ്പി വിത്ത് ദിസ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് സോ ഹീ ട്രൈസ് ടു ഡിഫെൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ട്രൈസ് ടു ഇവേഡ് ദ ദ റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഹാവിങ് ടു ഡു ദീസ് ടാസ്ക് ബൈ സെയിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഹി ഹാസ് എൻ അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് ടു ഡു ഹി ഹസ് എ പേപ്പർ ടു സബ്മിറ്റ് ഹി ഹാസ് ഓൾസോ ഹാസ് എൻ ഓൾഡ് ഏജ് പെൻഷന് ദിസ് ഇസ് ബേർട്ട് എഡ്രിയൻ്റെ വീടിനടുത്തുള്ള ഒരു വയസ്സായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ആളാണ് ഈ ഈ ബേർട്ട് so he is friends with him and he takes care of him so many children in his school they uh, volunteer and they help out old people and he is one among them pangane edrian parijapetta oru aalana nammada ee bert and he also tells that he has a do- and he also tells that he has a dog to feed but and uh, apart from the uh, from apart from other school work so idonnum kekkan edrian amma thayyaralla she wants this to be done Monday, March 9th, Commonwealth Day. Cleaned toilet, washed basin and bath before doing my paper round. Came home, made breakfast, put washing in machine, went to school, gave Barry Kent his menaces money, went to Bert Baxter's, waited for social worker who didn't come, had school dinner, had domestic science made apple uh, apple crumble came home vacuumed hall lounge and breakfast room peeled potatoes chopped up cabbage cut finger rinsed blood off cabbage put chops under grill looked in cookery book for a recipe for gravy made gravy strained lumps out with colander set table served dinner washed up put burnt sauce pans into soak got washing out of machine everything blue including white underwear and handkerchiefs hung washing on clothes hose fed dog ironed pe kit clean shoes did homework took dog for a walk had bath cleaned bath made three cups of tea washed cups up went to bed just my luck to have an assertive mother this is a hilarious entry which describes how things have changed dramatically for adrian once the plan of being assertive and dividing the tasks have been implemented by adrian's mom adrian has a lot to do he is cleaning the toilet he is cooking food and he is washing clothes and this kid even though he is doing all these tasks is doing it uh, in a half minded manner he is ineffective he is incompetent to do this task properly he messes up the washing by putting colored clothes with whites and all the clothes they are tinged in the blue color he cuts his finger during while chopping uh, uh, vegetables again uh, he the, the adrian the, by 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 narrating these events you townsend communicates how this teenager 
dislikes doing work and seriously hurts his own hurts his own chance of chance at happiness by mentioning all the events uh, in a series in a in a, in a sequence we also feel how much he is burdened by all of this stu townsend also mentions two names in this one is uh, gary kent gary kent is the bully at school and he uh, takes protection money from him protection money in the sense that if he doesn't give the money to him he will be beaten up so adrian is threatened to give the money he also mentions the name of the old pensioner we had earlier uh, heard about this is bert baxter who who is monitored by the social workers and then he this kid goes to the bert baxter's home uh, to 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 take care of him but the social worker doesn't turn up next we move over to the entry dated march 18th wednesday so once uh, adrian proves the point of the change of events that have happened because of having an assertive mother and how things changed in his home we get to see the next entry now what is it my mother and father are both speaking to solicitors i expect they are fighting over who gets custody of me it i will be a tug of love child and my picture will be in the newspapers i hope my spots clear up before then things have become really bad at the mole home both adrian's mom and dad they are speaking to solicitors lawyers now why do, why would they do that in order to get a divorce a legal settlement so he thinks again the the moment he uh, understands this process is happening he thinks about what will, thinks about what will happen to him and they and he understands that maybe they are fighting over who will get the cust- who will get his custody as to who with whom he will he will be staying and in a very uh, interesting phrase he, he calls himself as a tug of love child tug of war vadam veli ba tug of war la war maati tug of love child ay maarunu adrian swayam parayana and he will again be popular his name will be in the newspapers uh, it's a it's a it's a big deal for him but then and and he think he thinks of being popular even using this 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 instance again serious issue he is too concerned about how his photo would look in the newspapers if he has acne and he wishes or he hopes that his spots his acne clears up before he is being photographed uh, and his photo appears in the newspapers is a very shallow kid and he was who is only concerned about his own happiness and his own uh interests monday september 14th full moon school dinners are complete crap now gravy seems to have phased out along with custard and hot puddings a typical menu is hamburger baked beans chips carton of yogurt or a donut it's not enough to build healthy bone and sinew i am considering about making a protest to mrs thatcher it won't be our fault if we grow up apathetic and lacking in in, in moral fiber perhaps mrs thatcher uh, wants us to be weak wants us to be too weak to demonstrate in the years to come in this entry we get to understand the opinion of mrs thatcher's policy in the mind through the mind or to the perspective of this 13 3 by 4 year old kid he is talking about the food that is being served in his school nammada vada mid day meal scheme akkalla pole than in in britain they are providing food for the children in in the schools he is not really happy about the food and he believes that uh, to be healthy 
to have healthy bones and muscle sinew means muscle they need better food and he plans or he considers maybe writing to mrs thatcher the british prime minister at that time and to tell to inform her that such food the food that is being currently provided is insufficient and it will not uh, give her good healthy strong citizens but then he also thinks maybe this is done purposefully by thatcher so that when she does some misdeed and uh, they these kids they have to protest against her policies they are too weak to do so manapurvam bhakshanam mosham kodu moshamayittla bhakshanam kodutte oru janadaye talartukayana ennu angane talarnu kenjal pinne thatcherne edire prakshobham nadathan onnum kazhiyillallo ennu so again sarcasm is used to poke fun at thatcher's policies through this 13 3/4 year old kid friday november 13th pandora and i had a frank talk about our relationship tonight she doesn't want to marry me in 2 years time she wants to have a career instead naturally i am devastated by this blow i told her i wouldn't mind her having a little job in a cake shop or something after our wedding but she said she intended to go to university and that the only time she would enter a cake shop would be to buy a large crusty harsh words were exchanged between us hers were harsher than mine here he talks about his girlfriend pandora they are having a serious discussion about the future of their relationship remember they are teenagers very young and adrian is thinking far ahead and maybe he he plans to get married in 2 years time which uh, pandora doesn't want to she wants to get a good education and make something of herself so he he really doesn't like the way pandora is thinking and he knows that if this goes on he is going to lose her forever so he's very insecure by by, by hearing the plans of pandora he wants to uh, lock her down by through marriage and maybe uh, control her using that Pandora is much more uh, intelligent than I'm mean, intelligent and uh, skillful than Adrian and he knows he's kind of she's kind of completely out of her league out of his league she in clearly informs him that she will not uh, get she has no plans to get married to Adrian anytime soon and that she will get a good education Adrian again uh, uh, Sue Townsend again uh, pokes fun at the 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 mindset of many youngsters in britain and all over the world by through adrian when adrian tells that he doesn't mind uh, pandora uh, getting a job and w- which what kind of a job maybe in a bakery or something so he is all he is okay with her doing menial jobs she doesn't he doesn't have a very high opinion about women or what women can can do so townsend really makes use of this character to uh, to satirize the society and the the patriarchal attitudes of uh, the men and the teenagers the the boys who are who then will grow up into adults pandora has the last uh, word she is uh, the 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 last line is uh, really funny finally harsh words were exchanged and uh, harsh words by whom by pandora so the here so adrian doesn't win the battle the battle of words but pandora does and he clearly gets the message now we move over to the last entry first after epiphany i can't understand why my father looks so old at 41 compared to president reagan at 70 my father has no work or worries yet he looks dead haggard Poor President Reagan has to carry the world's safety on his shoulders, yet he is always smiling and looking cheerful. It doesn't make sense. Just like any teenager, Adrian also compares his dad with other powerful people in the world. Since Adrian's father is the most powerful man he knows, that is connected to him. 
he is the man of the house he makes a comparison between another uh, powerful person now who is that uh, president reagan he was uh, reagan was a film actor who became the president of the united states in the 1980s and uh, he uh, was quite influential all over the world now through this entry sue townsend uh mocks at the us policy uh, how does she do that she tells that reagan has to carry the world's safety on his shoulders so he is not minding uh, what usa does or minding the business in his own country but then he is the big boss the person who has to carry the weight of all the countries in the world this is a uh, mockery this is actually a a poke at the us international policy of interfering in other uh, in the in the matters of other countries now he again he uh, compares reagan to his dad his dad is just 41 how reagan is 70 and even though he is 70 he looks very uh, dynamic uh, while george his dad looks very old and tired he is uh, he doesn't uh, look like he's 41 but then maybe their ages can be interchanged so he has again he has a very poor opinion about his parents and uh, he is not able to comprehend the fact that uh, the george is going through a very tough time uh, regarding the divorce and the, the the financial situation in his home so this is how the entries end and uh, the glossary is given uh, in the same page go through it there are questions at the back of the chapter there are multiple choice questions attempt all of them now in order to prepare for your examination we will be doing an activity the activity is very simple uh, it is given on page 117 answer the following questions in a paragraph D- uh, the question discuss the anxieties of teenage that the diary diary entries portray diary il parnittulla adrian anubhavikkunna vyagulathagalum buddhimuttugalum endakkana ennalladana parayanadu so uh, for your examination you might expect a question based on the humor content in the diary entries idil parayunna narma sambhashanangalakke endakkana so all is con- all of this is connected to the basic uh, the narration endana edrin undaguna edin de chindagal okkana adil tamasha so write a paragraph uh, a paragraph will be around 5 to 7 lines i would say uh, write a long paragraph maybe 10 lines uh, by mentioning all the important thoughts and opinions of edrin oru nalla introduction kodukka and adinu shesham endana ee kadhayile ee കൊടുത്തിട്ടുള്ള ഡയറി കുറിപ്പുകളിൽ പറയുന്ന എന്നുള്ളതും കൂടി എഴുതുക യു ക്യാൻ സബ്മിറ്റ് ദിസ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വീക്ക് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഫോർ നൗ താങ്ക് യു